But we've got Zolia Allen, Tarx Nemesis, whole heap of goodies here tonight. Wagtail. You know who they are. They're in races two, three and four. And then the Flying Amy Classic Heats are races five, six and seven. This is the first though. Miners Moss, recent winner of the Rockhampton Cup. $2.10 is the Tats Bet favourite for Matt Reed, ahead of number three, Love Kills at 3.30. There's fixed odds, by the way, on Tats Bet, up on your screens there at home, in your pub, wherever you're looking, uh, on races two through to eight, or two through to seven. Green light here. And they're away, and Miners Moss popped out nicely, takes the early lead from Red Rum and Viridian, and wider out there came Absolute Boss, but Miners Moss is going to clear them around the first turn. Railed magnificently and got away by a length and a half. Absolute Boss in hot pursuit, three lengths away came Viridian. They were followed by Love Kills, and then came Washington Trick from Mr Elegant. Red Rum dropped out and walked walk with Faith, the last one on the turn, though. Miners Moss showing his class from Absolute Boss. Miners Moss clear, coming away, in fact. Miners Moss too good. Love Kills got up for second. Absolute Boss held third just in front of Washington Trick and then came Mr Elegant Red Rum Viridian Walk With Faith around about 30 even. Well there's the first favourite home and realistically it looks as though a lot of favourites will win here tonight. Famous last words I suppose but two Miners Moss has won the first 240 and 110. Three Love Kills 140. Eight Absolute Boss at $3.00. 30-0-1 cup. Now, three heats tonight means first, second, and the quickest two-thirds will be in the final next week, and the box draw will be conducted here this, this evening, as will the box draw for the Flying Amy Classic later in the night. But first things first is heat number one of the Macro Meets Gold Cup at Group 1, level over 7-10. Green light. Racing. And Zolia Ellen was actually a bit slow to go. Fast out there was Braylon Casey comes up to the first turn, but there's Zolia Ellen whizzing around the outside and now taking over is Mapunka Tiara. Into the straight the first time, Mapunka Tiara joined by Zolia Ellen. Oh, it was a dead heat the first time round. Five to Braylon Casey, third. Followed there by Mulaway or Rigadol and Tweed Barday is the last one. Down the back and Zolia Ellen straight away. She's four or five in front of Mapunka Tiara. They're followed then, uh, long way back the others. Braylon Casey your Riga Doll, Mulloway and Tweed Barday, but Zalia Allen, she streeted them. Ten lengths clear up the straight from Mapunka Tiara and Zalia Allen, a champion, a freak, one in a million. She's devastating. Wins by seven or eight. Mapunka Tiara second, Mulloway third, or Riga Doll fourth, Braylon Casey fifth. It was easy to call the run on because they've come in at intervals. Tweed Barday was last about 41.5, so she's not going to crack the track record of 41.44, but she's gone damn close. Seven Zalia Allen, one ten and one dollar in 41.55 after being ordinary away and having to do work to hunt up and get to second. Right, Andrew, set her again, 240. Forward they come. Yeah, I think Bourne only is a good chance here, 610. But set her again. It's been luckless lately from a couple of box six draws, has got the red. Green light. Off. Set her again begins brilliantly. Straight to the early lead from Infinite Wish, followed there by Starliner. Wider out on the track then, Born Ali now getting to third, followed by Hugh Genie, no class, and Euroa Katarina, the last one. Up the home stretch the first time, Set her again takes the lead. Infinite Wish, the Victorian, is up there to challenge. Two lengths away came Starliner, and then came Born Ali, who just lost a bit of ground going out of the straight from Hugh Genie, no class, and Euroa Katarina. They're in the back of the second heat of the Gold Cup. Infinite Wish whizzes up on the outside and takes the lead away from Set her again. Running on his star liner and further astern then was no class. The Kiwi trying to work into the fray, but Infinite Wish is clear for the Langtons. And oh, Rob Britton's rather the same thing. Infinite Wish romped it in. Second went to no class late on the scene, the Kiwi. Now set her again had run third in front of Bourne Ali. And then came Starliner, Hugh Genie, and Yeroa Katarina in about 41 and 8. Two Infinite Wish, 510 and 210. One of the very strong Victorian contingent here. In Brisbane tonight, Angela Langton for the Champagne Partners by Premier Fantasy out of Jean Genie is Infinite Wish. The Greyhound hadn't raced here before but had a, uh, a what they call a box-to-box -box gallop here on Tuesday out of the 7.10, did one lap. Third here of the Gold Cup, Victorian Greyhounds have won three of the past four runnings of the Gold Cup. It was Des Destiny Fireball last year, Bobby Boucher in 2011 and Nelly Noodles before that. Okay, green light. Racing. 
Tark's nemesis away brilliantly and goes straight through and takes the early lead. Wagtail's up nice and handy. Oh, got checked there and Tark's nemesis speared off the track. Different ball game now and pumped up Zah, the New South Wales stayer, left in front of golfing Amy and Gangnam Stride. Six lengths away to came Eliezer and then late Angel Lee and the two favourites are back at the tail. Wagtail and also Tark's nemesis. They're down the back and pumped up Zah by two. Golfing Amy coming after it, a length and a half, Gangnam Stride. Eliezer runs on resolutely, clear then of late Angel Lee and then the others, Wagtail and Tark's nemesis, homeward bound, look at these leaders bunch. Golfing Amy took the lead. Golfing Amy in front, flying out wide, Eliezer, went the better. Eliezer beat golfing Amy. Wagtail rattled home, got third, might get into the final. Late Angel Lee fourth. Then came Gangnam Stride, pumped up Zah, weakened out of it, and Tark's nemesis, after being the leader of that first turn, went very wide around that point and eventually came in at the tail of the field. Action aplenty. Number seven, Eliezer, a Queensland a victory here for Kieran Butler. 14.30 and 3.50. This uh, Greyhound started its uh, career here in Queensland, then went to New South Wales and was Fairly competitive down there. Back here with Kieran for the uh, the winter assignments. Eliezer stormed home to victory. Now seven over four. Eight got third. One more big injection of funds. I mightn't be far short. Righto. Six Renatus at 370. Eight tearaway size. Now this was a dollar ninety favourite about a quarter of an hour ago. It's now out to four forty for Reg K. And number two, you say so, Peter Roichi at 4.50. First heat of a race named in honour of a great champion. Green light. Off. Supervision out well has gone to the early lead. You say so coming up to tackle it and headed off and then came Nala's heart down to the first turn. Gun speed got into trouble. Round that corner they go. You say so ducked away. Nala's heart coming after it. Then came Supervision back to third followed by Renatus and then came Grand Roman. A long way back tearaway size couldn't get over from Ferrara and Gun speed the last one. On the turn you say so in front. Nala's heart hooked out wide coming after it. Nala's heart swept up. Grabbed the lead. Too good. Nala's heart beat you say so. Third with supervision, fourth in Renatus and Grand Roman fell just before the winning post there, but he's picked himself up now. Then came Tearaway Size, Ferreira, and Gun Speed. What happened to the four? He just yeah, he might have clipped a flying hoof there of the six. Anyway, three's the winner, Nala's Heart for Bob Henderside, 970 and 230. Jackpot Quadrilla, and you've got a $9.70 winner in the first league. Two, you say, say 150 and one supervision ran us a big race at each way odds. Alice, the uh, owner from Grafton, asked Tony Brett to take the dog a couple of months ago, or about three months ago now probably. And at this stage, it's just been uh, a great success story. Set to continue here, you would think. Three flash reality, 130 on uh, Tatsmet. One thing in his favour, he keeps drawing pretty well. A couple of twos lately and he's got the three tonight. Uh, flash reality. And he's one of the more mature greyhounds in this uh, series. He's uh, approaching 30 months of age, and that is the uh, the cutoff date for eligibility. Okay, green light. Away now. Flash reality missed it a bit. This will be interesting. King Elliot goes to the early lead from Senor's mistress Zali Rose and Flash reality trying to burrow through the pack now gets to second. Oh, but gee, there was general tightening there, and this leaves King Elliot about ten in front of Ange Vella. Flash reality followed by out of tempo. Well back then is Zali Rose and Stone Fixer. Well back then came Fabio as they come up to the home turn. It's all King Elliot have to fall over to lose. Ange Vella's in second placing, but King Elliot wins it. He's getting tired, but King Elliot by three. Ange Vela second, Flash Reality third. Well, there's the first shock of the night. Out of tempo fourth. And then came Fabio, followed by Stone Fixer. And then came Senor's Mistress. And the other one has been picked up here at the top of the home straight. And I'm just looking for the rug on the dog to see who it is. It is the seven. Zali Rose has been uh, captured there by uh, the starter. Two, King Elliot, th uh, 17, 20 and 240. There you go, 17, 20 and 240. Five Ange Vela at two twenty and three Flash Reality a dollar ten. Two five three. Favourite for this one, Happy Haswell, number one, a dollar eighty. Name for Graham Haswell, well known lure driver and uh, microchipper and marking up an ear brander here in Queensland. Graham be watching this race, I know, because he's just back from holidays and resumes lure driving duties next week. Be cheering on his namesake here. Not that he owns it, but Anyway, here we go. Green light. Off. 
Beginning fast there was Classy Blonde. Happy Haswell out with them. Exhibitionist charging through in the middle. And wider out came My Fantasia. And also You Can Talk. Round the corner. And My Fantasia crossed over and got away by three or four. Happy Haswell second. Followed there by Give You Credit. You Can Talk. And then Classy Blonde. Further back, Iver Vision. Exhibitionist got well out of it. And Fancy Stitches the last one. On the turn, My Fantasia joined by Happy Haswell. And round the outside is Give You Credit. But Happy Haswell went to the lead, drawing away. Good young pup. Happy Haswell by two. Give your credit second. You can talk third. Iver Vision ran fourth. Then came Classy Blonde, Fancy Stitches, Exhibitionist, My Fantasia in about 30 and 10. Well, he's given away race experience and age to most of his rivals uh, there. Happy Haswell, but been too good. 170 and 120. Three give you credit, 270. And number five, You Can Talk, also 270. The winning time's 30 and 15. Angel Lee, second reserve, or Riga Doll. Thanks to Mike at Radio TAB, as we get set here for the uh, best eight, and a good even field it is. I mentioned in the radio preview this morning with Jared Daffy, most of these don't win two races in a row here because it's just so competitive that um, it's a tough race to win every week, our best eight at the moment. OK, green light. Off. Out well there was Yogi Blues gone straight to the lead tonight. Down the middle those Frosty JJ. On its outside there was Rose of Gallo and Origa Legend trying to push through as well. Top stories worse than midfield. Down the back and Yogi Blues off and gone by half a dozen Rose of Gallo. Then Honey Bouquet and Origa Legend followed by Top Story. A big march and then Celtic Diva. Frosty JJ not going at all. He's dropped out last. Must be something wrong with him. Being passed by Captain Clary but it's a one act affair for here for Yogi Blue. And Yogi Blue streeted them. Second went to Honey Bouquet. Third Origa Legend, fourth in top story, and then Rose of Gallo. They were followed by Celtic Diva, Captain Clary, Frosty JJ, last of all, 29 and 9. See what I mean? I get a different winner every week in the best eight, and that's not being nasty to them in any way, shape, or form. Yogi Blue ran second at top story last week, and tonight Yogi Blue did everything right from the four box straight to the front, and he's romped in. In 29 and 94. Does have a best time of 29.89, so he's hit his straps right at the, uh, no, not the in a final, but not winning a heat. It's certainly a rarity, if not a first. But well done to Peter Roichi. A mixed night because Zali Rose was injured and uh, carted off the track in uh, in the second heat of the Flying Amy. So the highs and lows of racing all on one night. A dollar seventy Peter's pick here for Tom Noble. Don't forget we've got the Superstayer Invitational race here in a fortnight too for the best four over the 710. Righto, green light. Racing, Peter's pick came out OK. Coming through in the middle there was Cindy's special chant and wider out there came Gemma Jewell down to the first turn they go. Chant was checked back to last. Peter's pick railed through, got away by a length and a half. Gemma Jewell is second. Then came Cindy special in Spring Colorado followed by Trav's fantasy, winged elite Miss Lauren and Chant is the last one. Up near the turn it's all Peter's pick raced right away from Cindy special Spring Colorado and Gemma Jewell and Peter's pick. Peter's pick untroubled camera second. Ooh, give it to Spring Colorado on the outside and nose to Cindy special and then came Miss Lauren they were followed by Gemma Jewell and then came Trav's fantasy chant and the last one home is winged elite one and a photo between seven and two probably in that order 29 and 80 something so it's a good run Peter's pick Tom Noble a dollar ninety and a dollar ten he's got the money by panels of fencing Spring Colorado's made a dive at Cindy Special right on the line and uh, has got second, number seven. Being boxed up here at the 600 metre mark for the last event of the night, Albion Park. Fawn Corsair, our favourite, out in box eight at $1.60. Green light on. Ready now. Set. Off in the last. Fawn Corsair about midfield away. Let's see how it gets around the first turn. Pretty well. It's fog light in front down the straight the first time from Premier's Rain and up on the outside, Bellissimo Bell. And now Fawn Corsair rounds them up in a big hurry. Out to the back they go. And it's Bellissimo Bell joined and headed by Fawn Corsair. Around the Mazza time coming to third from Premier's Rain, fog light. Then Nave and Prince Harry. And the last one is Obama Lass. Fawn Corsair broke away by about three or four lengths on the home turn from Bellissimo Bell, Premier's Rain, as a time. But Fawn Corsair. Is clear. The last favourite's home. It wins it easily. Nave got home to run second. 
Third, I would say the two premiers reign just in front of Prince Harry and As A Time. Foglight back behind those, so too was um, Bellissimo Bell and Obama Lass. Won the last, the favourite, number eight, Fawn Corsair, Peter May, $1.50 and $1. Number four, Nave, $1.70. He's just a fast early sectional, $9.94. Uh, two will be third, I think, Premier's reign. So I think you're looking at 8426 here, perhaps. 8426, 3517, the race.